All right, guys, I'm going to do a little video on fuel tech and the fueling feature for closed loop target and how you look at that in a data log on your O2 correction and how you go ahead and fix that in your fuel table overlay. So for starters, we will go into our tune-up and then under closed loop. So for my situation, anything over 140 degrees and above 1300 RPM, closed loop is active. Um, we have our target tables, which I have set up with RPM at the top and boost pressure or vacuum along the side. I run pretty much just normal fuel, either like pump gas or C16. So, and then each one of these cells, that's what air fuel I'm trying to target. Then you go into control limits, and up top you have an upper limit and a lower limit, and that also goes off boost pressure. So, I allow fuel tech to add 20% of fuel basically across the board. And then down on the bottom here, lower, at negative 4 pounds of boost, or in vacuum, so to speak, I allow it to pull 20%. Anything over that, it is only allowed to pull 15%. So how does, what does that mean? So we will open up a data log that I have here and this green line is RPM. This purple line is boost and fuel tech's pretty neat because if you click on it, it will bold. So you can see a better description of what you're looking at. But the two that we're gonna be looking at, or three I should say, is O2 closed loop your O2 target and your O2 correction. So O2 closed loop, that is what your actual air fuel is. For me, I have one wide band since I'm a single turbo on my downpipe. So my O2 closed loop, that's what my air fuel is. Um, O2 target, exactly what it's exactly what it means. That's the air fuel that we are trying to target. And then below that is the correction. So you can see there is a 15% correction negative. So that means Fuel Tech is trying to pull 15% of my closed loop air fuel ratio in order to reach my target of 11.6. Now, as you scroll left and scroll right through the tune up, these values change. So how do you use that with the fuel overlay? Let's go ahead and click on fuel overlay. Now I have it set up pretty big here. So we'll minimize it, or not really minimize it, we'll make it smaller. And we'll start over here. So right there, O2 closed loop 11.1 .1 is trying to target 11.6. Fuel tech is only allowed to pull 15%. So what is that's doing is it's taking your injector pulse width, which for me right now is 9.4, and it's taking away 15% of that. Over here is our fuel table, which I have laid out on injector pulse width. Now if you hit um, S, it goes to the current cell that you're in. So for instance, I can click over here and click S and it will move it. The little, little dot. See how that moved to where the blue arrow is or the blue circle? So the blue circle is where you currently are. And if I was to make a change, you can go up or down. So, for instance, we're negative 
So we'll go to that cell, that fuel cell that we're in, and if we're 15%, you can right click, add, multiply, fill. We would do multiply, and now we want to take out 15%, so we do 0.85. So what this did is it took that value, multiplied it by 0.85, which would be pulling 15% of that value. And then you click on OK, and then you can scroll over a little bit on your tune to get out of that cell. Or you can compare if you're still in the same cell. So let's say we're out of that cell, we can click S, it puts us in that cell. We're still 15% rich, so we need to pull 15%. So then you can right click, multiply, 0.85, and then that would correct us. And then basically you just go through and follow your RPM curve and make adjustments accordingly. But however, if you change fuels, if you target different air fuel ratios on different days and such, this closed loop table, for me right now, at this boost level, I was commanding 11.6, which blends these two together because it's 25 and 20 pounds of boost. So it's blending those two together to give me about 11.6. If I was to change this value in the closed loop table to say 11.0, well, based off of what my fuel table looks like and my current fueling, it would be a lot closer to zero correction. Follow me? So because I'm trying to command a lot leaner of an air fuel that's why we're pulling fuel and that's how you make your changes right through here and then once you make all your changes you can open it up you can right click and well, I'm sorry you can't right click but just go through smooth everything out I like to do it by hand just so there's no big values or small values, you click on send to FT manager, that sends it to the tune that you were working on, and then you go ahead and upload that into your car and go win a round. Thanks.